I'm Becky. And I'm Bo. And we are the Right Sites. And today we are out on the very eastern side of the island of Roatan. And a long drive out here. <laughs> long drive, probably from West End, what, 45 minutes or yeah. so? So it's a long drive. Uh, not as many people live on this area of the island. But the reason why we're out here, you can kind of see the sign behind us. This is the small village of Punta Gorda. And it's the original uh, settlement here on the island. And the people who live here are called the Garafuna. And uh, so each Sunday they kind of have uh, kind of a uh, celebration out here, singing, uh, dancing. Loud cars. Loud cars <laughs> that pass by, it's kind of a busy road. <laughs> And if you can hear in the distance, we're way up on the mountain right now, but you can actually hear the music going right now. So we'll let this motorcycle pass and we'll be quiet for just a second, see if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's very faint in the distance, but actually we can hear it um, way on top of the hill. So we're gonna drive down, kind of explore the area see if we can learn a little bit about the uh, the Guna Garifuna. Garifuna culture sorry the Garifuna culture the motorcycle threw them off <laughs> <laughs> yeah. also don't forget to subscribe and uh, you can do that by hitting that little button right below there on the right hand side of your screen and hit that notification button that way you will be notified of all our upcoming videos that's all free of charge yep so make sure to like, comment, and share. Yeah. All right, so let's take off, find, um, find what uh, it's like in Punta Gorda. Punta Gorda sits at the bottom of the hill, about a mile from the main road. And if you go on a weekend, the best way to find out where to go, simply follow the music. Like we said, you can hear the music from way on top of the hill. And as you get closer to town, the music gets louder and louder. And once you get there, just spend a few minutes watching the uh, people dance to the music of the Garifuna traditional style dance. After spending some time in the center of this part of Punta Gorda, listening to the music and watching some of the traditional Garifuna style dance, take some time to explore the rest of Punta Gorda. Start walking down the street and you will find all sorts of things to do. And you will not want to miss the Garifuna Cultural Center and you will need to taste the Garifuna traditional seafood soup. Punta Gorda actually is a kind of a big place. It's a big area. Um, I'm thinking it's three or four miles 
long along this road, but there's a couple of kind of major um, little town areas. Uh, the first one you get to, uh, this is a Sunday afternoon, so this is kind of the time to come, and it's uh, real loud. <laughs> yeah, lots of good music. Lots of good music. Drum banging. Yeah, the singing, Garifuna dancing. type <laughs> music, real loud. wind might be too loud for us so we'll see <laughs> but this road follows the coast it's really pretty yeah you can kind of see the, the coastline behind us so pretty part of the island everyone's friendly yeah we were walking along and someone recognized us from the right side flagged us down yep they are from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. They're here for a month and they said our videos were helping them so that's, well, that's awesome good. yeah yeah glad we can help someone enjoy their trip even more so uh, that was uh, nice meeting them yeah very nice so we're uh, kind of recording this on a quieter street the main area way too loud you couldn't hear us so. oh yes 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 this is the cultural center Ah, uh, that's right, right here. What's your name? Swiss, Swiss. They call me Swiss Chocolate. Hi, everyone. Swiss All right. right. That's my nickname, yeah. I like that. You guys having a good time? We having are. a great time. The board is nice, right? Yeah. Very nice. Really very, very nice. Very nice. Nice to have happy people like you guys up here with us. This is the Culture Center. Yeah, that's what we're going to check out. Center. We're yeah. going to awesome. give you guys some good information. Awesome. Yeah, we're at the Culture Center here. All right, so we are going into the uh, Garifuna Cultural Center. We're gonna learn about the early culture of Roatan, in particular, the Punta Gorda area. As you walk into the Garifuna Cultural Center, you can explore the history of the Garifuna people here on the island of Punta Gorda. Now, our guide, Swiss Chocolate, he pronounced it Garifuna. So I'm not real sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly or not, but these were the people who were the early inhabitants of the beautiful island of Roatan. And as you visit the cultural center, you will learn the rich history of this proud people. Just a quick history of the Garifuna here on the island of Roatan. The original Garifuna people came from Africa and they were intended to be slaves, but their ship was wrecked and they made it to the small island of St. Vincent where they were never enslaved. Well, after the Seven Years War, in America we call that the French and Indian War, the British defeated the French and they took over the island of St. Vincent. But the Garifuna people refused to be enslaved. And so in about the year 1797, uh, they were exiled to the island of Roatan. And so that's how the Garifuna people arrived here on the island. And so they were very proud of the fact that they were never enslaved. And they have also kept much of their cultural traditions and food uh, upon arriving here some 200 plus years ago. So don't miss going by the Garifuna Cultural Center in Punta Gorda. It is well worth the time to learn about the rich history of these proud people. After spending a few hours listening to the music, watching the dancers, and visiting the cultural center, we both were ready to try the Garifuna seafood soup. Now, when going to Punta Gorda, you can try this soup at many different locations, and I'm sure that they are all very good. The place that we decided to stop was a place called Garifuna Living Food. We had heard that this was a great place to get the traditional soup, as well as a great location to enjoy it while we were overlooking the Caribbean. From what I have read and been told, it usually takes at least a half an hour for your meal to be prepared because everything is prepared from scratch. 
but it is well worth the wait. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is just how large of a bowl of soup it is. And it also is served with what looks like a ball of bread, but that is not bread. That is called machuca. And what machuca is, is mashed plantains. And you kind of tear this apart and put it in the soup and it absorbs the flavors and it just adds to uh, this meal. And it is absolutely fantastic. The soup itself is made up of several different types of seafood. One of the big parts of the meal is a large piece of red snapper. Also, you'll have a nice big piece of Caribbean lobster, which is sweet and delicious. And also some shrimp and conch. And it's all mixed in with coconut milk, peppers, and other spices. And this meal was so large that Becky and I were both um, able to share it and both of us got plenty to eat. So we just finished our meal here. I'm not sure if I've got anything in my teeth or not, so <laughs> excuse me if I do. All right, so we have the traditional soup. And you can see uh, we pretty much finished the whole thing. And we shared it, like that yeah, was one portion it. that we shared. It had a lot of lobster, conch, um, a big piece of fish. Shrimp, shrimp. Yeah, and frit, yeah, fish, shrimp. And it's like all in coconut milk. Yeah, so anyway, um, I thought it was excellent and I would uh, get this again. In fact, I'd like to get it some other places while we're here just to compare. Right. So. And if you're uh, wondering about the price, it was $25 for uh, a bowl plus the piece of bread. Right. Left with, uh, I think. But I think that was really but, tourist prices. Yeah, you might um, be able to get it cheaper somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, you could. Uh, I'm sure you can get it cheaper even here. Like yeah. a lot of times on the islands, you can bargain. Yeah. And uh, I would assume that you could probably get a bowl of soup like this for probably 10 or 15, something like that. But you know, it was uh, $20 today. Of course, it's kind of a big tourist day here. In well, Punta it was Gorda. supposed to be 25, but we actually ran out of yeah. money. We only have $20 on us. So when we told her that, she said that was fine. That so was they fine. gave it to us for 20, which yeah. is really nice. <laughs> Punta Gorda is way out on the east side. And so I did not check my wallet today. Yeah and we just ran out of money yeah so they were nice enough to say twenty dollars is fine and uh, they gave us uh, a great meal really enjoyed it big portion and also of course you know you can't beat the view here uh, overlooking the caribbean so it's been a great day yep. we uh, learned a little bit about uh, punta gorda what the town's like some of the people uh, its history the saw some dancing dancing a lot of music. dancing yeah <laughs> The cultural center is really worth the stop because it teaches you a little bit about what you're going to experience. And hopefully you'll get Swiss chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> he was very entertaining and yeah. very knowledgeable. Yeah. So, so anyway, the sun is setting on the Caribbean. We have got a long drive back to our place on bumpy, the west end. Long and bumpy and, and bumpy. dusty. <laughs> So, but they're working on the road, so maybe by the time you come, yeah. it'll be better. Yeah, it's well worth the trip out. There, it is. So, all right. So we hope you enjoyed this segment of the Right Sites. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, comment. Also, it'd help us if you would share our videos to your friends and family, and then that way they could uh, start viewing and subscribing as well. And make the trip to Roatan.